Hey, Tina Varelli. Hi. How are I'm you? so happy you're here. This is what I love when I get to do in the kitchen with Mary because I know I get to hang out with this gal Yay. over here and talk all things KitchenAid. Yes. Um, okay, so KitchenAid has been around since 1919, right? Mm -hmm. Started with that first stand mixer. It did. And now brings us all the essentials. The hand mixer, yes. Mm -hmm. Or the stand mixer, yes. But hand mixers also. Yeah. And all the tools that we need to keep our kitchen running smoothly, functioning, right. down to the bowls. Exactly. And I love these bowls so much. This is our newest set because we included a colander I in know. the smallest bowl. So you're going to get your colander that's one and a quarter quarts. Okay. It nests inside your one and a half quart bowl, which nests inside your two and a half quart bowl and in your three and a half quart bowl. I love that they're lightweight I know. mostly because I have a 10 piece set of glass bowls in the bottom of my cabinet that I hardly ever use because I want the biggest bowl and I have to lift out these big. All of it. It's such a pain. Yes. I love that they're lightweight, but they're not going to like walk all over your counter because each one has this nice silicone grip and it also has the sizing on the bottom oh, that's as nice. well. They're dishwasher safe, they're BPA free, and they all have a helper handle and a pour spout. So they're just so they're smart. Smart and convenient. Mm -hmm. I actually uh, have a set that I bought a couple years ago that had the three bowls, but it sure didn't have the colander. I know. I know. I missed out. But that's okay. There's always room for more bowls. <laughs> um, all right, so $34, six eighty on your five easy pays. Just introduced a matter of days ago. Let me take you through your colors. Mm -hmm. So that color there, this is gonna be your aqua. Right. I know I'm on in the kitchen with Mary, so she would say aqua. aqua. Does she still do that? Yes. Okay. Aqua. <laughs> then we have the set for you in the gray, and that was the what Tina was showing you, that mm -hmm. really beautiful charcoal gray color. This is pretty. This is called <gasps> beetroot. It was one of the KitchenAid color of the year. It was so what? Pretty. A KitchenAid color a of KitchenAid the year. KitchenAid color of the year. Okay, most limited, uh, most <laughs> limited, and only 150 remain for a girl who hates beets. I love that color. I know. And then, of course, we do have it for you in the Empire Red, all four pieces. All right, so. The best part when Tina's here, she teaches us something, she does her recipes. Uh, what you got going? So I just wanted to show, I'm whisking the wet ingredients for my blueberry muffins and the bowl is not going anywhere nope. because it has that nice silicone grip on the bottom. So I love how the colander nests inside the small bowl. So if you're making blueberry muffins and you wanna like rinse off your berries, yeah. Maybe you come home, like you see on social media, where they're kind of cleaning all the produce mm -hmm. with a little vinegar or baking soda. You can do that in here and then just lift out to drain and the bottom is going to hold your water for you. So then right into your mixing bowl with your blueberries, right into the mixing bowl with that lovely handle and pour spout. I love how it pours so nicely, neatly. These then can go in the dishwasher Washer, love which that. we love, BPA free, it's just so awesome. Yet they're really tough as well, even though they're lightweight, they're stable, they're tough. Everything you're gonna love about a mixing bowl, you are gonna love. These have been so popular. And like you said, it is the first time that we offered with that colander right. inside. And it's really nice. You know, we probably all have a giant colander at home. Oh, of course. But you may not have that nice, smaller size. And I'm gonna show you some other great uses for that. All right, so let's- I could watch that all day. That's mesmerizing. That so, looks so delicious. So really Blue great. Muffins are my favorite. Another thing I love is the shape of the bowl. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a mixing bowl that was so sloped, you feel like you're mixing for <laughs> acres? Yeah, for it's, acres. Right? Or it's so sloped, when you get in there with your cookie scoop, I can like level it on the side right. of the bowl. Whereas if you had that real slopey bowl, it's not so great for leveling off your mixtures and using your cookie scoops. So, so many features of this right. bowl that I'll I really, really love. Um, okay, remember $6.80 to get all of this home on your easy pay. Now what? So this can hold maybe not a pound of pasta, but when you're making those smaller amounts, that was still a good amount. Yeah. And then you can drain your pasta. Have oh. you ever made a recipe with pasta that calls for you to use the pasta water? Yes. And oops, I just dumped it all down yes. the drain. So it's great to have the colander inside a bowl. You can hold the pasta water. You can even 
freeze the pasta water in case you ever make that mistake. Oh. Because it has that starchiness, it helps to thicken the sauces. Okay, okay. So we're gonna use um, a savory idea here, making a pasta salad. So I have my salad dressing ingredients in, in here. There? And we're gonna whisk that up so we have some oil, some vinegar, some herbs, some spices, and some honey and a little citrus juice. So again, able to whisk, but it's still stable enough yeah. and it's not going all around the counter. So we're gonna add our dressing here with that pour spout and handle. We're gonna add our pasta oh, in that here looks so fresh. that we cooked and drained. That can all go right in the dishwasher. And then all you do is mix it up here. Let's use the spoon. Okay. Look at that. So it's a large oh, enough bowl with that three and a half gorgeous. quart that you can make those bigger mixtures in there. And I like, I'm casual at home. So I would just serve right in this bowl. But if you wanted to get fancy, you know, maybe yeah. companies coming over, with that handle and that pour spout, it makes it really easy to Look how to fresh pour and vibrant that well. salad looks. I know. That's be that's a thing of beauty right there, Isn't Tina. A thing Can of I beauty. remind everyone of colors real mm -hmm. fast? Um, so remember, you're getting all four bowls and all the sizes. They're all really like workable, usable sizes. Mm -hmm. You know, things that you're going to pull for every day, not just for the huge cook. This is the aqua, very popular. Mm -hmm. Here is your gray. Then we have it for you in the beetroot, most limited, less than 150. And then here is are a couple pieces in the Empire Red. Right, and the outside of the bowls, just speaking about the color, it's yeah, a pretty so kind of a matte finish. Yeah. The inside is matte as well, but right around the edge here is a glossy finish. So they're finished really yeah. pretty, kind of with that two-tone texture. Mm -hmm. Just really lovely. So I love these little bowls so much. So remember the one and a quarter fits inside the one and a half. So if you ever make like Muddy Buddies or it's those buddy. like wedding cookies, so this is cereal coated with peanut butter and chocolate, and then you need to toss it with powdered sugar. So it's really great to be able to put your powdered sugar on, the bottom bowl is going to catch it and then if you don't want to waste any of it, you can reuse it Easy again. Easy cleanup. Easy too. cleanup. Down here in the sink, I love it for when you're defrosting your seafood, right? right? So it's frozen, but you don't want it sitting in the moisture because it can get waterlogged and mushy okay. and affect the texture. This holds it up because the colander bowl has these little indentations on the side here that lets any kind of liquid drain out do you see those little indentations yeah. that's all for a purpose that makes and so it, much sense it's not going to sit right on the sink yeah. bottom it it's up away. a little bit higher for it to drain away Really great when you want to chill your hard boiled eggs. Oh, I love hard boiled eggs. Blanching green beans, because then you can put it in ice water, but then when it's time to drain it, you just lift it right out, and it's super easy just to make your hard boiled eggs. I've been mm -hmm. loving hard boiled eggs. I always love hard boiled Making eggs. Making them a ton with the extra protein. Yep. So it's just easy ways to make your life a little bit easier. If you have bowls that you hate in the kitchen, they're too heavy, they're chipped, they're mismatched, they're trashed treat up. yourself I agree. to this beautiful set. I completely agree with you. That's what I did just a couple years ago, and I love them. I use them all the time. So, set of four bowls, you get the one and a half quart mixing bowl, two and a half quart, three and a half quart mixing bowl, and the two and a half quart uh, colander. And they all nest together just like this. This is all four bowls right here. This is gonna be your gray. I have it for you here in the Empire Red. Beetroot, which is popular, mm -hmm. but limited. Fewer than 100 now. People are picking up more than one. This is also great gifting. The so gift of great. KitchenAid. And then we have it in the aqua as well. I really want those blueberry muffins. Oh. <laughs> so good. Uh, it is K890626680 on your easy pay. Now, I have you four times today, Woo! right? Woo!